Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another eye makeup look for you guys. I will do it again in voiceover. I just feel like they go a lot smoother and quicker when I'm just whizzing through. If you do want me to do, however, like a more chit chat tutorial, then let me know. But otherwise, without further ado, let's get into this eye makeup. <laughs> it's another like colourful, exciting one today, so I am uh, super excited. Okay guys, so first things first, we're going to start off with the eyes. Of course, I'm going in with the tape trick. Again, I'll probably just whiz through this because I've done this in my last few tutorials. Just line that tape up toward the brow. Make sure it's stuck down nice and tight so that none of the shadow gets through. Next, I'm going to prime my eyelids with my Jumbo Pencil in Milk from NYX. And I'm basically just popping that all over the lid and then blending it out with my finger all the way to the brow bone. For our first shade today, I'm taking this peachy pink shade from the Chi Chi Pride palette on a fluffy Zoeva blending brush and I'm applying that through my crease, starting from outer corner and blending it all the way toward the inner corner today, making sure the most pigmented part is on that outer corner area. Next I'm taking a slightly deeper pink shade, this is from the Chi Chi palette again and I'm taking that on a soft definer brush this time. And I'm basically starting that on my outer corner right against the tape as you can see. And I'm blending it all the way toward the inner corner as well. Slowly building up that colour because it is quite pigmented. You want to build it up slowly to get the perfect blended effect. Then I go back in with some of that peachy pink shade on that fluffy blending brush and slowly blend it out. Next I'm taking this deep kind of whiny red burgundy shade on a petite crease brush. And I'm packing that on my outer corner and slowly bringing it through the crease as well. As you can see I'm packing all these shades right up against that tape because I want a nice crisp line. Next I'm taking this beautiful shade from Makeup Geek called Shimmer Shimmer and I'm packing that on with my Morphe Chisel Shader Brush initially. Just packing that all over the lid and then to really crisp it and define up that line I'm taking my Zoeva Precise Shader Brush to do that. And I'm basically packing that shade all over my lid all the way towards my outer corner where that red is. Then I go back in with a bit of that kind of deepy pinky reddy burgundy shade and I'm packing that through the crease as well to kind of redefine that crease up a little bit. Next I'm taking this shimmery purple shade from the same palette and using it with my finger. First of all I'm packing it on right where the pink and the shimmer shimmer are, so just in between those two. Then I go in with a brush and kind of blend the burgundy shade into the purple shade. For my brow bone highlight I'm taking WA from the Perth palette and placing that on the high points of the brow bone. Then I'm going in with my winged eyeliner. So I'm using the Hyper Sharp Liquid Liner from Maybelline and I'm basically just drawing a really, really, really thick, really extravagant winged liner that goes almost the whole way towards the tail of my brow. It is a pretty thick, extravagant winged liner because we are doing a graphic liner look today so I wanted it to flick out pretty far. Then I go in with a white eye coal and I map out where I want that kind of graphic liner to go through my crease. So it's good to have a little kind of idea before you go straight in with your liquid liner because it is a little bit trickier and if you have a bit of a guide it's easier to kind of get them even. So once I've mapped out that white eye coal I go back in with the liquid liner and just kind of trace back over it through the crease and I bring it almost the whole way towards the inner corner. I stop about two thirds of the way across. Then I go back in with shimmer shimmer and just kind of go back along the cut crease area and just crisping up that eyeshadow line just in case I was a little messy with the eyeliner or something like that I just go and clean it up a little bit okay once you've done that it's time to peel off the tape I swear this is my favorite part like I said in any look when I get to peel the tape off and you get that nice really satisfying crisp line for lashes today I went in with the style I think these are fluffy from Anitude and I just place them on. They're really dramatic and full and they don't cover too much of the eyeshadow up but they're really complementary with the eyeliner because they are so full. For my waterline I'm taking this brown eye coal from Makeup Geek and I'm placing that on my waterline. It is in the shade Espresso I believe. Um, for the outer corner bottom lash line I'm taking this beautiful sapphire blue shimmery shade from Morphe. It's in the shade Sapphire. And I'm packing that on with a Morphe Pro Precision smudge brush along the outer third of my eye. Then I'm going to take Pegasus and Poolside from Makeup Geek. I used Pegasus, which is the lightest shimmery foiled eyeshadow shade 
on the inner third of my eye and I go in with poolside which is the more turquoisey blue shade um, in between sapphire and pegasus because I use it as more of like a transition shade to help those two shadows fade into one another then I go back in with that beautiful shimmery purple shade and I smudge that along my bottom lash line and toward the inner corner as well. So I'm just kind of adding a bit of that purple element into the bottom lash line look too, you know? Then I'm going in with this beautiful highlight I use on my brow bone. It's called WA from the Perth Travel Palette and I'm going in and placing that, like I said, on my inner corners for a bit of a pop, a bit of a pizzazz. And then finally going in with some bottom lash mascara. I coat mine nice and thick and black because I do want them to stand out against the really deep blue eyeshadow. And that guys concludes today's graphic liner colourful makeup look. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it. I just wanted to try it out because it was something different. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any recommendations or requests on what you'd like me to do for future tutorials, please let me know. Otherwise, have a great day. Enjoy your Easter holidays and I'll see you guys very soon. Love you guys. Bye. Bye, sister. <laughs>